Hello, my dorky dragon friends. I made this tutorial for one of my subscribers, Bixby Cat, who um, asked for how to make good morphs, which is kind of, that's kind of, uh, like, some people think some morphs are good and some people think other morphs are good. So I'm just going through and just showing you how I make a morph, which is by trying the most unique thing I see there, and it kind of depends what character I'm going for. So, if you have torn ears, it looks like they've been in a battle, you know, and kind of shows that they're tougher. And the eyelashes do do a lot for them. It kind of shows whether they're a boy or a girl, and whether they're just like, it just does a lot. And the head is kind of finicky to see what kind of patterns you like. So you really just got to try all of them out and, and see which ones you like. And it's good to be very unique with your morphs because then they'll come off as good because they'll be different from everybody else's. So I'm basically just going through all of the head patterns to see what I like. Oh, that was weird. Oh, and the ear pierce pie pieces also do a lot. Because maybe if their name is like something like a uh, cicada face, then you could put a cicada wing on in their ear, which just like adds so much personality and different differentiation from like everybody else's, you know, because you're you're just like not every cat will have that. And fur, this is when it really comes together. It looks super basic until you add the fur. Just adding a little bit of back fur and arm fur and belly fur and chin fur. It just, like, does so much. Chin fur can usually come off as, like, an older cat. So, I recommend that. And, like, you can add a fluffy neck and fluffy tail, but that comes later, actually. And there are so many different kinds of face fur that you can use just without, without spending any Robux at all on them. So, just... Just try everything out, and it really depends what kind of character you're going for, you know? So, I'm just trying out all the different kinds of fur, see what I like. And then, once I've finished that, you see, there's a bunch of things you can buy with Robux, but it doesn't really matter. And then here we come to the tail. We, you're, there's, there's not many pieces, there's not many choices of tail. It just kind of depends if you want a fluffy one or not. That's that's pretty much it. So to the legs, to add a little bit of color and variety and a little bit of rainbow happiness, you can add, you know, like like some just different like rainbow bands and different bright accessories to make them even more unique. And of course you need patterns all over the body. You don't just want a plain cat that because that is just boring. So I put some brindle on her. And then, dang, that keeps happening. Um, and then, I, uh, this, oh, the scars can do a lot. Because that really shows us your character is tough. And it just adds uniqueness, you know. What you're really going for is unique. Unique really shows good. And it shows your that you actually put time and effort into your morphs and because it really is just time seeing what you like going through all the different patterns putting it all together like it takes time and a lot of effort to actually get good my first few morphs were just awful honestly so if you don't know how to make good morphs then you really just got to see what morphs you like now i'm on to the colors and to have a consistent color scheme, which is usually what looks good, but there are lots of different ways to do it. I like to do colors that are similar on the color wheel to each other, which is pretty obvious. Like, I chose black just because I picked it, then gray, which is slightly lighter, brown, which is close to black, and then eyes. This is where you're going to want to have it stand out and be very pretty. There are so many different eye colors that you can choose. And as you can see, I added one blind eye just for fun. You know, it makes it more unique. 
And then, of course, adding uh, bright accessories, because you always want something to stand out, which is her flowers and harness in this case. So I made them red to kind of match with her eyes. Oh, wait, I just changed them. I would rather them be red, but hey, that still looks good, and it's kind of cohesive. But, of course, seeing it right now, I'm going to want to make some changes, and that is completely fine if after you see the thing, you want to make some changes, like you can completely do that, like, even if it's taking away, like, I didn't really like the, um, the rainbow wristband on her, I thought it looked better if she didn't have it, I'm about to remove it, I'm just scrolling up, and yeah, I think that looks much better, much more cohesive, and, like, I just think it looks nice, and of course you can go back and tweak different things, but, it's really just having a nice co coherent color scheme and it being very unique and of course you need some bright pops like the eyes and of course like you can't just have a plain white cat that's not going to look very good and there are just so many different things to make it so different so much variety in the morph maker you really just gotta check everything out oh and the paintbrush i didn't really mention the paintbrush but you just, it's just if you need extra color somewhere, you can use that. I rarely use it because you don't really need to. They already have so much variety. But that's my morph. Oh, and you can do, like, more things. Like, you can, like, close the eyes and all the animations can change things. But I was just going to delete this afterwards, but I actually like it. So, I can't come up with a name. Do you guys have any name ideas because I'm I'm not very good at naming things but I'm gonna save this over her because she was one of my first morphs anyway I think that's how you make a good morph is just by being unique and having what you want for the character character like of course the scarier they are the more cuts they're gonna have and everything so it's just like and like the sharper it just looks more dangerous, but she's just a little kitty pet, so I think I did a fine job. Also, making them, oh, preset morphs are very helpful. It may feel like cheating, but it's really not. They're in the game for a reason, so if you want, like, this kind of cat, like, just, like, go for it. Don't, don't feel bad at doing that. Then just, like, change the color of the eyes, add more, more fur, just, like, do whatever you want to make it your character. It's, it's not bad to use the preset morphs. I use them all the time. And especially if you're a beginner, you're going to want to use those and don't know how to make good morphs. You can, the game already has good morphs for you that you can use. And then just add on to those. And eventually you'll get good enough to create your own morphs. <clears throat> So I hope this helped Bixby Cat, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!